Okay, in this example, uh, which comes from uh, College Algebra Lyle, uh, question 23 on page 128. Uh, this is a, uh, an example of a application or word problem uh, which will require a quadratic equation. So again, we approach word problems exactly the same way, keeping in mind that word problems is really the way math is presented to us to begin with. And again, we have to get good at translating the words into mathematical symbols and equations. And again, an equation is a model for this particular real situation. Okay, so let's go through again and underline the things that are important. We have a rectangular piece of metal, so we know what a rectangle is. And it is 10 inches longer than it is wide. Notice that the length is listed in terms of the width. Now then we have squares with sides 2 inches. Now we know what a square is. All right, all sides are equal, and the sides are two inches long are cut from the four corners. The flaps are folded upwards to form an open box. Now, if the volume of the box is 832 inches cubed, what were the original dimensions of the piece of metal? So here's the question. What were the original dimensions of the piece of metal? Dimensions being the length by the width. Okay, so let's go through. Always organize this in terms of a picture. So let me have a go at drawing a square. Whoops, not too good, but let's have a go. At so here's a rectangle. Okay. So here's our rectangle. Now we have two inch squares cut out. So this is two inches, this is two inches. And we have another one over here, so this is two inches, and this is two inches. And here we have, this is two inches, and this is two inches. And we have here the same, two inches by two inches. Now a couple of things to notice here. It says that the rectangular piece of metal is 10 inches longer than it's wide. So since the length is in terms of its width, let's call x equal its width. So that's from here to here. This is x. Okay. Uh, that means that the width, I mean, sorry, the length is going to be 10 inches longer, so x plus 10 is going to be equal to the length. Alright, so we have that. Now, let's look at what happens when we cut the 2 inch pieces out. Now, notice that we have x plus 10, but we're going to subtract off 2 because of this 2 here, and 2 again off here, so we're subtracting off 2 lots of 2, so we're going to have x is plus 10 minus 4, which is 6. Okay, so that distance from there to there is x plus 6. Now this way, of course, from here to here, all right, is going to be, we're going to subtract out 2 again here and 2 again here, so we're subtracting 4 off here. So this will, in fact, be x subtract 4. Now we're folding these flaps up and so therefore we're forming a, a open box and we know that the volume of a box is given by the length, by the width, by the height. Now the height of course is going to be given by the two inches because we're folding that upwards. Now we also know that the volume we're given is 832 inches cubed. Okay, now so that allows us now to formulate a volume is equal to the length. Now we know the length is uh, x plus 6, okay, that's this one, by the width, which is x minus 4, by the height, which is 2. And we know that this is equal to 830. 
Right, so if I was to write this in a, an equation form that we know in math, we would end up with this equation. And this is modeling the volume of our box under these conditions. First thing I can do is divide both sides by 2. And of course, uh, over here we'd get 416. Now we're going to need to FOIL this out. So I'm going to get an x squared uh, minus 4x plus 6x. Okay, so we're going to have uh, minus 4x, so that's this part here. And then we have our plus 6x, and finally we have minus 24 is equal to 416. Now we should get it in standard form. Notice it's got an x squared, so this is a quadratic. And this will be plus 2x by the look of it. And we've got to subtract the 416 off of uh, the negative 24, so that'll give us negative uh, 440 equals 0. Right, so we've got a quadratic in standard form now. Now, our methods of doing this is number one, factor, if we can, or number two, you've got the quadratic formula. All right, so either way. Now, what we're looking for here, if you want to factor it, you're looking for the, for the, fact, the factors of uh, 440, negative 440, that add up to 2. Seems like a long shot, doesn't it? But if you look at this, this is an even number, and it's got a 0 on the end, so 10 and an even number, so it does have a factor of 20 into here. And 20 times 22 would be 440, Notice the difference between these is 2, so I'd need a plus 22 and a minus 20. So if I did that, oops, x uh, minus 20 by x uh, plus 22 equals 0 will work. So check it, we get x squared minus 20 uh, plus 22 is um, plus 2. And now, of course, negative 20 by uh, 22 is negative 440. So this tells me, by my zero factor property, that either x minus 20 equals zero, or x plus 22 is equal to zero. So this tells me that x is equal to 20, or x is equal to negative 22. Now, always do a reality check. We're talking about x being a length. We can't have negative 22 inches, so this one is not possible. So this is the only answer that we have. x is 20. Now notice that that would be the width of the uh, rectangle. So the width is equal to 20 inches. The length, of course, is going to be equal to 10 more than that. And so that would be 30. So the dimensions all right, of the rectangle originally rectangular uh, sheet is 20 inches by 30 inches or 30 inches by 20 inches now just to do a check well if we had uh, 30 inches the length uh, then we'd need to have uh, notice it would be well x uh, so x plus 6 would be the uh, the um, length of the uh, the open box so that would be uh, uh, let's see, that would be um, x is uh, 20, so that's 26. All right, times by x minus 4, so that would be uh, 20 minus 4 would be 16 times 2. And hopefully that should come out to 830.
32. Okay, inches cubed. And check your calculator to see if that's true. And that's a little check to see if we actually have got it correct. So the dimensions of the uh, rectangular sheet originally would be 20 by 30. This is the length. Okay. And this is the width. Okay, and then we can check the volume of the box based on the uh, dimensions that we would have gotten uh, if we had uh, <coughs> taken two inch squares out of them and, and uh, folded the flaps up.